Hey guys, what's up? It's Maria Dahlia, and today I'm going to be going over how I got this look. This is a very minimalist approach to applying makeup, so if you guys are in the market for a makeup routine that does not require a lot of product, then you definitely want to give this a watch because, what did I use, like five? Five products total, maybe? Yeah, like not many, and I was able to get this. This is perfect for if you want to, you know, run errands or... I don't know, step out for lunch or just, you know, everyday things. Go to work. I don't know. All the like. But if you guys are interested in anything that I just said, then stay tuned. Keep watching. Without further ado. One, two, three. Okay, so first things first, we're going to start off with some skincare because... When you are doing a very simple look, you want your skin to be superb. So to do that, you're going to start with a toner. And the toner that I'm going to be using is Fenty's uh, Fat Water. Okay, second, you're going to want to go in with a moisturizer and a primer but I have something that I use that serves as both a moisturizer and a primer and it's basically just mixing the Clinique's Moisture Surge gel moisturizer and then also using their moisturizing lotion not the moisturizing gel but the moisturizing lotion if you use those two together chef's kiss like your skin is going to be nice and radiant, but it's also going to be very tacky, which is great when you want to apply makeup. So definitely recommend mixing those two together. How I do it is I initially start with a little bit of the moisture surge and apply that throughout my face, obviously. Then I go in with just a little bit of the lotion. And then what you should feel is like your skin becomes like just a, a little bit tacky, which is what we want when we apply makeup. It's like a good grip. Make sure that your makeup, it, it ensures that your makeup won't move, which is always good okay now my face is primed and ready for some makeup application um, for like my minimalist routine I will always go in with like a tinted moisturizer as opposed to a foundation because we want it to be giving skin a little model less you know less of the full coverage foundation look um so i will go in with the nars tinted moisturizer in the shade havana So that just kind of like warms up the skin. I feel like with this shade, their shades are a little weird, I'm gonna be honest with you. But I like this because it gives me like the whole tan vibe, which again, it's nice for a very fresh and vibrant uh, skin look. So yeah. Next, I'm going to be going in with a concealer. I am using the Maybelline Age Rewind concealer you'll notice that I didn't apply the tinted moisturizer to the underneath my eyes and that's because I'm trying to avoid creasing this is it's tinted moisturizer and you moisturize your face it's not going to be a very matte look I mean you can make it matte and I will show you a way that you can do that but for the most part it's a lot of liquids and if you have oily skin, especially in the summertime for me, my skin, you know, it gets a little oily. So you're not going to want to do things that are going to increase your chance for creasing. So 
I will apply the foundation or the tinted moisturizer around the perimeter of my face and then not actually underneath my eyes because I don't want my underneath my eyes to crease. You also notice that the shade that I'm using for my concealer is not that far off from my actual skin color because when I'm looking for a minimalist look and I want it to look natural and skin-like, I'm going to opt for something that is not like super obvious that I'm, you know, I put makeup on. So I'm going to let that dry down a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and get into these brows. Now, you don't have to do your brows for a minimalist look, but... I do, I feel like I'm undone if I don't do my eyebrows, so I'm going to be going in with the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow, their brow gel. You wanna be very light with this, unless you like a really, really dark brow, which I do um, most times, but just forewarning if you're not used to using gels. Now that I feel like the Concealer is nice and dry. I'm going to go ahead and just blend that in with my e.l.f. complexion sponge. Now that that's nice and blended and I'm feeling like very much giving skin vibes, I'm then going to go in with my favorite blush at the moment, which is the e.l.f. putty blush in the shade Turks and Caicos. I... You know, I don't know. It gives a nice, girly, flirty look. I mean, I'm already giving skin, but, you know, a little bit of blush never hurt anyone. So, that's what I'm going to be going in with next. I'm just going to take my finger. It's, uh, this type of blush. It's like a cream blush. And I'm going to apply it to the... I guess those these are the apples of my cheeks. Is that the saying? I'm terrible with those, by the way. So, if I ever mess one of those up, you now know why. See, it's like nice and flirty. Mm, I like it. So basically, when I do the minimalist look, I apply the blush as if it's like my bronzer or something that I'm using to contour. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay. Now that you have the blush, you're basically done. Like, what you do next is really up to you. Like, you can just go in with a setting spray, a mattifying setting spray if you're oily, or a dewy setting spray if you want to give more of a dewy look. Um, and you can just stop right there. You don't even need to do anything else. Like, you're already giving model S. You don't need to go in with a concealer underneath your eyebrows. You're giving very much, I just woke up like this, you know? Um, but if you are oily and you want to just give a little bit more, I don't know, set to the face, then you could go in with a nice finishing powder. I'm going to be going in with the Sephora Micro Smooth uh, finishing powder. And I'm just going to set my face just with this powder. Just kind of tap everything into place. This also helps blend out any of the harsh lines you might have from your concealer and um, tinted moisturizer. You know. And you could just stop there. If you wanted to stop there, you could stop there. This is enough of a set, I feel like, especially for the amount of product that you just applied. You don't really need much. But I'm not going to stop there. This is as minimalist as I can get, but at least... You know, I'm showing you how to be flirty and simple and sophisticated with very, you know, small number of products. And that's the point of this video. Really? Okay, that's fine. We can just go with natural light. That's okay. But basically, I'm going to go in with a setting spray and I'm going to be using the NYX Dewy Finish. Um, so I'm using like a combination of some mattifying things, some dewy things because I do have dry combination skin. So both things work for me. And voila, that is the final look. You can apply a lip gloss. I have some gloss on and I'm just ready to go.